Okay, Railing Roof reporting. Uh, Sunday, August 14th, 2016 AD. It's 23, 27 hours. Um, right now, I am uploading my video. I'll show you here. What Railing Roof wants for his 43rd birthday on 8 17, 2016 AD, which is like three days from now. So while that's uploading, I just remembered a few more things I'd like to get. Now, obviously, I don't expect anybody to do anything or try to get me anything. But nonetheless, I throw something out there and say, you know what? Can't hurt to try, right? Gives me something to do. Maybe somebody will watch it. Who knows? Anyway, I'm bored, so why not, right? So let's go to... Um... to Amazon. Now, let's see what's got here. Ah, it's right there. <coughs> I've been wanting to get like a bug out bag kind of thing and start putting it together for, you know, in case crap hits the fan. I've been looking at a lot of backpacks. This is the one I like the most so far. Um, Sixty dollars. It's very big. Carries a lot of stuff. It looks very comfortable. Um, so I'm thinking, unless I have to find something better, that's really right now at least. Um, and they come in different colors, obviously. You guys are green, which I don't really like. Ugh, don't even get me started on that. That one's kind of cool. I kind of like that too, but don't like the camo. Uh, well, that's camo too. Actually, this one's camo too. But I like this camo. I don't like this camo. I just mm -hmm. I don't even like that camo. Ugh. If I was going to get camo, I'd get this kind. But I like the blue. The blue's dark. It would be hard to see if you're really trying to bug it out or get away. So as long as it's a dark color, it's, it's not going to be too visible. Um, so I mean, it's got stuff for holding water, it's got stuff for holding food, guns, ammo, um, you can put your computer in here if you have a portable computer, or an iPad, or something like that, uh, radios, knives, easily stuff, if you get the right kind of food, you can put food and water for several days in there, easily a three day pack, um, uh, again, if you get the right kind of dehydrated or Freeze dried food, um, but that's just like sixty dollars. Now, the next thing I want to look at is a Hoyt compound bow. Um, I've been looking at some of these, and let's see, we'll from high low, be the best way to do it. Truth of the matter is, they're all about the same. I don't really like the design of any of them. I don't, if I had the resources, I'd be able to design and cut out and make my own. Um, but having said that, there is something to be said for getting something that's already pre made and tested and ready to go. Um, so, and some of these are very expensive. Um, I don't really like the dark designs. Um, I like the lighter. Let's see if I can find one here, but these ones are pretty. Here's one. Um, let's see if I got one kind of like arrows and stuff. Yeah, there's a whole bunch, but I don't want that anyway. Now, Hoyt's the most recognizable name. In the, in the, in the, to be honest with you, I'd really, really want to go to a bow and arrow store or an archery store, supply store, and look around and find what I want, but. There are a 
lots of opportunities when you look them up. I mean, well, they don't really have to be that expensive to be really good at it, which is kind of cool. Here we got one that looks pretty neat. Um, and that's why I'm going into the details of how, many, how, fa or, uh, how fast and what the poundage is, but um, you get the idea. And of course, I'd like to also have a, like to have a recurve. Well, obviously, I don't want. To. Nice one. The thing about these is, in all things considered, they're really not that expensive. Um, probably about a weight though. Um, so that's just an idea. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's see. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so, my name and address are in the description below uh, of this video. You know where you can send stuff if you want to donate or help me out. Or send me a letter that says, hey, you're stupid for asking for free stuff. <laughs> I think there's a compass. I want to have like a compass too. That'd be fun. One that would work if, you know, the EMP strength. The, the cool looking backpack. Oh, I know one thing. One more thing. Uh, 17 inch Mac Book Pro. Now these aren't very little, they're not making them anymore. Uh, the reason I like these is because they have a built-in super drive, which can, could be replaced with the Blu-ray reader writer. Um, obviously you can buy a new one, it's like $9,000 because there aren't very many new ones around. So new used ones around for about $850, $1,000, $1,000, $1,200, 1400 Depending on the quality, etc., etc. Uh, but you you can put up to 16 megabytes, megabytes, 16 gigabytes RAM, and you can replace the hard drive with uh, an SSD drive. And of course, you can replace the uh, super drive with a Blu-ray reader and writer that's backwards compatible with DVDs, CDs, etc. So. There you go. Plus, of course, you can always upgrade the RAM if you need more memory. It goes up to 16 gigabytes. You can still do, in today's, you can do a lot with 16 gigabytes. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, it's still a very usable computer. And I would love to have one. So, the 17 inch MacBook Pro with the CD, with the CD drive on the right side. So, there you have it. There's my wish list. Until next time.